Hey guys, so I'm going to be doing something different today. I'm going to be doing a gel blaster kind of review, overview, whatever you want to call it, on this Wells CQB blaster. This is the nylon version, not the metal version. Um, you know, it feels pretty solid. We've had this for quite some time now. Um, you know, the only part that I can find that's a little wonky, little, a little loose is the buttstock here. It's, you know, it's a little loose. It shakes a little. Um, you know, when you have it extended out like that, when you push it in, it still moves a little bit, but it's pretty good. Other than that, everything else is solid. You know, you get no flex anywhere. Um, and yeah, you get this <coughs> little iron sights here. Um, I don't use them. I usually just put a red dot on my blasters, but you know that come it comes with them, so you know it's all right, I guess. Um, open that up. You can see the gearbox. Um, this is the nylon gearbox. I uh, might be putting a metal one in it pretty soon, but not sure. And we have the the riser hop up on the end. That's the only modification we've done to this blaster so far. So should be shooting just like it does out of the box, apart from it has that hop up on the end. So we'll get into some shooting. Uh, I'll show you how much it, FPS it's shooting at. And then we'll do an accuracy test, I guess. Uh, I will say this is quite accurate. I like this blaster. Um, it's probably one of my most accurate blasters. But, yeah, we'll get into all that now. Okay, so we are using the Ultra Elite Gels. Um, I feel like that you get the best accuracy out of them. So that's the only ones I use. But yeah, um, that's what we're using. So we'll see what we're getting. Two twenty nine, two eighty four, two nineteen, two twenty two, two twenty one. 244 234 222 203 229 208 uh, 205 that's a misfire 224 okay so around the 220 to 230s i would say um, not bad for a stock blaster. Um, doesn't take much to get these shooting up with the rest of them. It is a V2 gearbox, so um, yeah, looking good. Okay, so we're getting around the 220 to 230 mark using the Ultra Elite gels. Not bad. Um, Pretty soon I'm going to be putting a different gearbox in this or even upgrading this gearbox so if I do that I'll film it and show you guys the difference but all you would need to get it up there with the rest is some metal gears, bigger spring and probably a couple of o-rings and it will be shooting quite nicely. Um, we'll get into an accuracy test I guess now. Um, shoot about how far away is that? do about a 15 meter um, range accuracy test that's all I've got in the backyard so uh, we'll do that and show you guys how accurate it is
So as you can see, this is shooting quite straight. Um, the first couple of shots I was aiming for the can, but once the can got knocked over, I was aiming for the border. So, um, you know, if you can see the gels in the video, I'm not sure, sure yet, I haven't edited this, but uh, hopefully you can and you can see how accurate it actually is shooting. Um, so yeah, um, would I recommend this blaster? Um, if you're getting into the sport, you're just getting into it and uh, you want something that's half decent and it's not going to break the bank, I think this is a pretty good choice, this or the longer version of it. <coughs> um, or if you want to start upgrading, then this is a good choice as well. Being a V2 gearbox inside, you can pretty much do anything you want to it. Um, you can also run a drum mag, and the drum mag that Wells has is quite nice. Um, I'll actually go grab it and show you guys. Okay, so this is the drum mag. Uh, fit a ton of gels in this. Uh, but the best feature about this mag is you don't actually have to take it out to refill. All you have to do is simply just put your blaster up like this. There's a thing here. Turn it. That allows access to the inside. Grab your bottle, fill it. After it's full, just close it up and you're good to go. So you don't have to take it out at all, which is my favourite thing about this mag. Uh, it's quite nice, you can do it really fast. And uh, I think you can fit about maybe a thousand gels into this mag, which is plenty. Um, you know, I'm one of those trigger happy guys, so I end up refilling this every couple couple times every game. But yeah, I mean, it's a great mag. Um, only fits the wells, I believe, so won't fit any other blasters, I don't think. But um, yeah, um, great blaster. Um, recommend it for everyone if you're just getting into the sport, if you want a mod. Um, if you're a more advanced player, um, more I'd probably recommend something else, um, just because it's it is nylon. Uh, it's nylon gearbox. I'd probably probably recommend the blaster with a different gearbox in it if you're an advanced player. But um, that's just me. Uh, I I run. And a couple of my other blasters, metal gearboxes, and they are a lot stronger, hit a lot harder, but, but for what this is, for the price, it's a really good blaster. So, I'll be doing a couple more videos like this on all the blasters that I have. Um, if I had to rate this out of a 10, probably rate it around a 7, um, just because it is hitting a bit lower than other blasters, but like I said, I mean, you can fix that quite easily, no no problems there, um, so yeah, I rate it a 7 out of 10, um, if you want to see more of these videos, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.